Good morning, Hong Kong. Welcome back to another episode of Hong Kong Insurance 101. While COVID-19 is still very much on our minds, we're going to be looking at the new normal which has developed in 2020. That is to say, working from home. Now, in Hong Kong, all employers are required to obtain employees' compensation insurance to cover staff against their risk of suffering a work-related accident, injury, or illness during the normal course of their employment. Essentially, if an employee gets injured while on the job, an employee's compensation insurance policy will cover the company's financial obligations towards the worker's injury. Along with car insurance, employees' compensation insurance is one of only two legally required insurance products in Hong Kong. That is to say, these are the only two types of insurance which the government has said you must possess if you are doing a specific activity. In the case of EC coverage, the activity is that you are employing someone. This means that any employer, including individuals who employ domestic helpers, must have employees' compensation insurance for their workers. Maid insurance is interesting because the scope of employment covered under EC policy is by nature domestic. That means that claimable events under maid insurance employees' compensation protection will normally occur in and around the employer's home. However, this is fairly unique because most jobs in Hong Kong are service-based and will normally require you to go to a place of business, like an office, shop, or restaurant, to perform the basic functions of your employment. When it comes to employees' compensation insurance, the fact that you have to go somewhere else to do your work makes it fairly easy to identify claim situations which have arisen during the normal course of your employment. Unfortunately, it also means that underwriters have historically been extremely reluctant to insure individuals and companies who are working out of a private residence. The reason for this is that it's normally too difficult to determine whether a claim occurred in the employee's private time while they were at home, or whether the accident occurred while the employee was at work, while also still being at home. From the insurer's perspective, there would be nothing stopping a work from home individual from slipping and falling, taking their morning shower, which is not normally considered to be part of a person's routine employment, and simply waiting until they were officially on the job and stating that they fell over while walking to their desk from the printer. So it's simpler to exclude home workers from private EC insurance protection and refer them to the government's Employees Compensation Insurance Residual Scheme Bureau. Now, this throws a large degree of uncertainty into the current situation as many people are now starting to work from home despite the fact that they are being covered by an employee's compensation insurance policy, which is offered through a company for a specific office location. Technically, a case could be made that any individual currently working from home without an EC insurance policy that specifically states either working from home is covered or which names your home address as a work address they would not be protected by their employer's employees' compensation plan. What this means is that if a worker does experience an act as an accident while at home, working in their official capacity of their employment, it is likely that the accident will not be covered by an insurance policy, especially that one that was designed to protect against that eventuality, simply because the employee is now outside the scope of the originally contract, contracted policy. This is a complicated situation, and we would strongly urge all viewers to contact the CCW Global Insurance Broker today and identify whether there are any gaps in your employee's compensation insurance coverage in light of the current COVID-19 and remote working situation. Your workers may not be fully protected during this time of crisis, 
and you may actually be failing your legal obligations towards providing employees compensation protection. Otherwise, that's us for this week. Please have a happy and healthy weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay current with all our content as it comes out. And remember to just ask CCW. We're simplifying your insurance.